Hi Alan, here's your uh, video. Hope you're hearing me loud and clear. This is the uh, the first video of yourself before we made any changes. Uh, excuse the lines, I'll explain them as we go. Check out the set setup you have there. You can see how your ball position is favouring your your left foot at that time. And uh, let me take you through the swing anyway, and we can kind of analyse it from there. Okay, what we're going to do is just do a comparison to the drill that I gave you after that with the one leg, and this is what I want you to work on and why. Okay, that one there. Now, first of all, with the takeaway, I've put some lines on around your head, and um, you can see if we take the club away on the left, we can see how the head is pretty steady at that point there. Pretty good. As it winds up into the full swing, the head rolls around to your left a little excessively. Okay. As we have to, on the way down, we have to make a lot of compensation to get back to the original position. Okay. And the head doesn't quite come back to the original position because the full position was just a little too far back. It had to go further back to actually hit the bottom of the ball. So let's go to the drill and have a quick look at that one. I had you stood up on your right side and asked you to keep your weight stationary over that right leg. Only a half swing, mind you. So we took the club to here. See how the head is staying very, very still. Okay, the arms are in a good position at that point. And it's important that you keep this half swing going for now because I'm going to talk to you about the, the wrist hinge in the next lesson. So that enables your head to remain in that position through the back swing. So do a quick comparison to the back swing on this one. So at halfway back you can see it's different straight away. The weight is stacked over your right leg on this video on the right hand side. Okay. So on the way down you can see the lowering, which isn't a bad thing, but Let's take this impact position. It's really, really critical. We're going to talk about impact. Okay, so now the ball position is more towards your right foot. And there's your impact. Now, what I want you to really note here is how the shoulders are much more level on the one on the right. Head is back to its original position. In comparison to the left, where the shoulders are tilted back, the weight is back over your left foot. And the club angle 70 degrees versus 84 degrees. What that means is that you've actually flipped the club in front, uh, the club head in front of the hands a little excessively. Hence the reason why you hit it a little heavy from time to time. Whereas the one on the right here, you hit down on the golf ball, down, which gave you that nice impact. Strong ball flight, right onto the right leg. Continue through the swing. And because of those motions, you can see a big gap opening up on your right arm here. A little bit of what we call disconnection. Whereas on the right, sorry, this is the, on the right, the arm will stay closer to the side. You can see this gap here is closer, which means your arms are following your chest around and not separating. And that's what we worked on. And the finished position was with the arms in front of the chest. Let me play that at full speed for you. Okay, looks nice and smooth, and nice and compact. Half golf swing. In comparison to have a jerky looking kind of follow through there. Have a snatchy one that pulls to the right when you hit it. Okay, so that's your face on view of that. Let me take you to a view from behind. Okay, and again showing you the drill of how things have changed. I'm going to switch swap this over. So on the left is the not such a good one and on the right is the better one. Straight away the alignment we talked about whereas your feet are aiming to the to the left there as opposed to the straight on using the club. Alright. So let's take the swing through. What I also do is put a little line here 
to indicate this is what we call the plane of the swing and uh, we indicate this with a line through the shaft of the golf club let me take you through the back swing of your, your original one quite a nice one piece movement back slightly under the plane but it's nicely I like that motion back not much fun with that You're about to start again, it's probably a little long on top of your head so as the other head height changes it might be worth mentioning at this point the posture that we talked about as well ok so playing is quite good on the way down there okay. I've got another one on the front of your head as well let's so we'll a quick look at that Okay. And just really pulling the club head across your body on the way down. Nice to there, but then pulls to the club face very, very close. And in fact, he's pointing over there. Okay. Sorry about that. There we go. So that back a few markers. Uh, that's it's going over to the, the right a little excessively there let's go to the one on the right here nice movement back again let's see where the club face is here just stay square for longer club face okay Nice and smooth, bouncing over your right side. Good job done there. Let me just also show you this was a chip, which wasn't so good. I will can also compare this to the chip of the practice swing. So here we go. With the, this is the chip you were making. Notice the motion of the head moving. A little bit of a jerky motion and that sort of lack of rotation through the ball. So the, the shoulders stopped at that point. And that's pretty much it. The shoulders and your chest is facing down. As opposed to the one on the right, that we continue the motion around to your right, around your left shoulder. So your right shoulder can now not be seen. Okay. And that's what we want the right shoulder moving all the way around. Okay, Alan. so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you about on the video. I hope that clears things up and gives you a good idea of what I want you to work on with that one leg trail. I look forward to kind of catching up on the next session where we're going to look at increasing the power and uh, increasing some hinge on the on the backswing. Okay, bye for now and see you soon.